This video is provided by www.compressor-source.com. Today we are here to talk about check valve installation and help identify what check valve you will need for your compressor. To tell if your check valve needs to be replaced, um, when the check valve goes bad, your air compressor, once it shuts off, will usually leak out the unloader continuously until your compressor kicks back on on most compressors. There's a few different unloader types. There's a, Most unloaders on most every compressor is going to be on your pressure switch, which the unloader is on the side. When your compressor shuts off, the air is bled out here at this port um, to relieve the pressure on your head for, to, so when your compressor goes to restart, it has a load free start. If the check valve is bad and does not hold the air in the tank, it just continually leaks out this, out this valve. On some compressors, they do not have a valve on your pressure switch. It will be inside your pump, an internal unloader on your pump. Um, it will also leak when your compressor shuts off the same way. Um, it's just a different location. But anytime your unloader valve continually leaks once your compressor shuts off, um, it would be your check valve that needs to be replaced. There's a few different styles of your check valves. Um, you have your inline check valve, your in-tank check valves, and then your metric style check valves. Your in-tank check valves are very standard. This is what most compressors will have um, that uh, are built at a factory. Um, you, these actually stick down into the tank. Um, they have male pipe threads. They uh, range in sizes. Um, and then they'll either have female pipe thread or they will have compression threads. Um, depending on the compressor, you'll have to take yours off um, to see what you already have. Um, these will be located, your main line coming off the compressor pump right as it goes into your tank is where these will be located. Um, and then this port goes out to your unloader. Um, some check valves do not have unloader ports. If yours does not have an unloader port, you can use a plug to plug this hole. Um, the check valve will still work properly. Um, you also have your inline style check valves, which uh, are just in between a line, your air goes in one side, it's marked inlet, um, and out the other side. Um, same style, it's just instead of sticking into your tank, it just goes in your line. This is a metric style check valve, which you see on a lot of imported compressors. Um, it's very hard to find the exact style of this check valve that you'll need. They're all different, a lot of different thread sizes. Um, most of the time, the tank will always be a standard thread size. What I do a lot of times and recommend is get a check valve like this. It'll, if you have enough room, it goes in the tank just like it, this would, and then you can get an elbow um, or a compression fitting um, and convert your existing line to a regular compression fitting um, or whatever you decide you want to use there. Um, this is a lot more common check valve um, that you will see. If you're building a compressor, you can use any different check valve. Um, you just got to know what size pipe thread and uh, you have for the, the tank and what size inlet you need. Other than that, they are, they are all universal. Um, it's just a matter of finding the, the right size and right fittings. Um, if you would like to, uh, to find a check valve that you need for your compressor, please visit our website at www.compressor-source.com. Thanks for watching this video.